Hey everybody, it's LawMamoC for FreeMamoStation.com and today I'm playing Firefall Beta, which is a fun to play third person sci fi, as you can see, shooter. And it also goes into a first person as well. So you can uh, play third person or first person. I think third person is a lot better, as you can actually then see what's going on. And that guy's shooting the battlefield station, which I hope he doesn't blow up. And first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about the game. Now the game is free to play, but it's in closed beta at the moment, so be prepared to see loads of frame skips, lag, uh, errors, clipping through walls, blah blah blah. The uh, game itself will be coming out, I think, in either open beta or full release this year. So you can all hopefully play it. So let me uh, show you a little bit about the uh, game and what you can do in it first, before I tell you about the storyline. Now, uh, basically, these things are all you really need in the entire game. You've got your health station, ammo replenish, uh, they don't cost any crystals or money to actually use. These don't cost any crystals or money to actually use, so we'll just click here. And this is your module changer, this is where you can change your weapons if it loads up. Sometimes it's a bit glitchy and you have to go back out. You see, you see it is a bit glitchy, but uh, this is where you can change your equipment. You see I have a red reinforced dreadmark turn, but I can't use it because I'm on the assault class. So I'll click off of that. And here's what I think is really pretty cool about Alpha Rim Station. This allows you to change your class at any time. Say I wanted to become a dreadnought, train that class up with a dreadnought. Say I wanted to become a um, medic. I'm a medic. It's that simple. I definitely think that's a good idea as I hate it when you go into MMO games and it's like, oh I really want to play as this like tank character and then you go into it and you kind of look around and you see that people are really cool with their magic and everything you're like, oh I wish I'd have picked that class or oh, I'm going to have to recreate that whole game and stuff. And it's hard in some free to play games as well because um, they actually don't give you a chance to make that many characters. That's why I like what I like about this actual game and the ability to change anything you like. So I'll just go to a high view here and show you the landscape. That's yeah, a beautiful landscape. I have unfortunately got it on the lowest graphics settings because it, the game isn't very well optimized and its frame skips a hell of a lot if you don't have it. Especially with fraps. Without fraps, it's pretty okay. It gets about uh, 30, 40 frames per second. But uh, yeah, definitely they need to optimize it a bit more. Uh, they've gone for a kind of a shell shaded uh, cartoony look, which I think is uh, brilliant, and I really do like the look. I wish a lot more games went for that look because not only does it look really pretty cool, but you don't go for that realistic, boring look that a lot of people go for nowadays. So right now we're in a place called Coco Coco Banana. I have no idea if that's how you say it, but I think that's how you say it from the song. I probably it's probably nothing like that. But anyway, um, it looks like we're on a totally different planet, doesn't it? Actually, nope, we're in South America right now, on Earth, haven't changed locations. So, the storyline goes that actually one day, humanity was trying to break the speed of light. Because, you know, we like, we like to break the speeds of light, and we like to break speed limits, we like to break laws, laws of physics, blah blah blah. But, unfortunately, it didn't work because we're idiots. And, the arc generator, which was used to try and break the speed of light, crashed into South America which um, caused this gigantic force kind of um, electronic storm throughout the entire earth engulfing all life and um, luckily somehow the arc generator created this giant shield which stopped the electronic storm from engulfing South America or this part of South America which I, I must admit is pretty lucky and unfortunately though because these games always have to have a challenge Aliens invaded at the exact same time, which kind of makes me think that they purposely broke the arc generator. It doesn't really say that, but it hints at it. But the actual electronic storm is mutating animals as well, which kind of makes it worse. So, basically, look at the entire land. It's all mutated and stuff because of the electronic storm. So I'll just show you the different things you can do. I've managed to get myself a squad to go thumping. So we'll kill these giant, annoying dinosaur things first. Uh, ow! Urgh! Shut up. There we go. Okay, let's have a look here. So you get your hammer out, press that, and it'll show you where 
everything is. So see, this is white here. So let's have a look here. Let's actually check down here as well. Okay, because we need good space. And we still have something here, here, this'll do. So basically just press C, get your thumper out. Press 4, so you want your thumper here. Incoming. And there we go, get out of the way because it will kill you. So, I'll just show you roughly how um, you actually extract the R because we do have some people helping us now. But unfortunately, there's a problem with having a thumper. The wildlife don't really like it. So here's where they all come in now. And the repair station basically just heals us, so it's a good thing that engineer has one. Ah, they're attacking it. If they break it, you have to buy another bumper. And I don't want to buy another bumper because they cost a little bit. Uh, sorry for the major frame skip, but this game isn't really well optimized. Maybe later in the uh, other betas, I might do a part 2 on this video and show you now compared to the updates. So, from the storyline, I think you can basically tell humanity is pretty much doomed. I mean, there's an alien invasion, all life on Earth is basically destroyed, apart from mutated life that's coming out of the storm and attacking the cities, and there's nothing really we can do. Or is there? And that's where you come in. You're a mercenary. And your job is to basically get paid and told to do what to do by absolutely I'm just gonna level up there. And every time you level up you get unlocked a new mainframe or a new kind of blueprint. You can uh, make stuff out of. Everywhere. So yeah, so you can, you're basically told what to do and that includes killing the wildlife, collecting minerals as I'm doing here. So yeah, we got that. There we go. Oh, they're everywhere! Oh, my health isn't doing too well for the actual bumper. So yeah, your missions include killing the wildlife, blah blah blah, stopping the alien invasion, and there's random events that happen throughout the map, and if you hit one of them, you're told to do that as well, and you can get some rare material. And this is what I'm talking about, look at this, you can get quite big bugs in this game, and they're incredibly hard to kill. Like, miniature bosses. But if you think this is big, you should see some of the alien technology. Unfortunately, there's no way I can show you that, because I, they haven't implemented it yet. Oh, she managed to just won't let it happen. Because the whole point of the alien invasions is that if you leave them alone, the bigger and more powerful they'll get, but we always attack them anyway. Uh. Okay, it's nearly full, if we can just protect it just a little bit longer. No! Incoming! Giant firebug. Come on! I've got it. Final extraction complete. There he goes. Bye bye. I'd just like to say thank you to all the people that joined me in that uh, film in there. So uh, thank you very much, all the dudes at the side, if you can see him. And if you see this video, good for you. But as I was telling you earlier, before I was rudely interrupted by that giant bug, uh, yeah, the the aliens can become gigantic bases if you're left alone, and they start off as just a small portal that randomly uh, kind of spawns anywhere on the map. Let's see if there's any at the moment. Nope, there's none at the moment. And what happens is, is if you leave them, they'll grow into an outpost. If you leave an outpost, it'll grow into a base. Leave that base, it'll grow into a kind of a big, basically army. I mean, really, really massive. And if you actually uh, go on YouTube and search the trailer, you'll see how big the invasions can get. And that city I was in earlier can be taken over by the aliens if the aliens are left alone. 
and they can create robots that are about the same size as that uh, see I'm telling you they are massive and if you just leave them alone they will take over that city and you there's no way you can use that city so all that uh, gear and equipment and stuff in that city just can't be taken over and you've got to get all your men and women together to fight back so I think that's a very good thing they've added and I actually think that's probably um, a really good way to keep this game fresh and up to date now I'm on my way to the actual uh, giant electronic storm to show you it but on the way I'll show you or tell you about the actual level system now it's basically just you kill stuff get XP blah 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 and at the top you can see your level I'm level 3 at the moment assault a lot of people have complained that it's taking way too long and this is what I like that they're gonna do they're gonna get rid of levels on the whole that's it, we're just going to get rid of levels and give you everything you want. All you have to do is just collect the material to unlock the item. Entering sin Which sounds kind of crazy, sounds like it couldn't work, but I'll just check my maps, make sure I'm on the right way. But yeah, it actually, the way they've said it is that, and I agree that it just takes way too long and you kind of get not really motivated by the level system. And this is why they're adding it, and I really, really do like what they're doing and what they're gonna do. Damn it, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I've gone through the map. I have gone through the map, people. And that's the bit for you. And can I say that I am not literally stuck, people? Holy moly. I think I have to kill myself. I'm sorry. Looks like I won't be showing you the storm anytime soon. One complaint I do have about this game is the AI. As I was saying earlier, it is incredibly thick, and sometimes they'll just walk into walls. Look there, he just she just walked into wall, but it, she moved out of the way. But sometimes they will just keep walking and walking and walking. Sometimes they'll stand on top of each other. It is kind of really stupid. Sometimes I just stand around doing nothing. And I know they're supposed to be moving because they were moving earlier and they'll just stand in literally in the middle of the air which is kind of annoying. But anyway we're at a um, an actual kind of a um, that's a spaceship thing and we're at an airport and I hope they do later actually do something with this airport and just don't leave it as like a graphical thing because I think adding like um, spaceships and ships would be pretty cool. There's no vehicles at the moment apart from your jetpack. I think they're going to add kind of motorcycles later and I know you do originally come in on a kind of a... it's it's like a one of them jet things and they do have like, look they have a robot there I think that'd be pretty cool we could take control of that and use that against the aliens. One of the vehicles they do have are these things. I mean, they're called gliders and they are pretty cool. You can get pretty far with them, but they do run out very quickly. And Some people are using them for ages, and I just don't understand how they're using them for ages. kind of makes no sense to me. I'm going to get you people to this electronic storm. I don't care if I go through a wall again. I mean, look at it. It's pretty awesome when you're inside of it as well. I didn't realize there was a chosen patrol around here. Chosen seem to be taking over this city. They are doing some damage to me. Hopefully they drop health sometimes, so it's not that bad. And here we are, we have a giant electronic storm wall. And I'm gonna walk into it. This is what it looks like inside, it's all bleh, messed up. There is something out here, but no, you die before you even get near anything. It's pretty funny what they say sometimes. I must admit. Anyway, that's roughly all there is for the PVE. I'll uh, show you the PvP next in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you like the game, please follow the link in the description. And this is Lawman. Goodbye.